These splice videos are intended to show the techniques involved in splicing Samson high performance ropes. Some repetitive sequences have been edited for time. Watch the video to become familiar with the individual steps of the splice. When performing the splice, follow Samson's written instructions for the step by step procedure. Written instructions at SampsonRope.com. This splice procedure has been developed and tested for use with Samson Class 1 products only. Class 1 ropes are produced with traditional fibers, polyester, olefin, or nylon fiber. Instructions for this splice can be downloaded as an Acrobat PDF file from SampsonRope.com and are also available in print form in the Samson Splicing Manual. The eye splice is used to form a permanent eye or loop in the end of the rope for attachment to a fixed point like a cleat or mooring bollard. An eye is also used to form the rope around a thimble to protect the rope when attaching to a shackle, chain, or wire rope. This splice may be performed on either new or used rope. By following the procedure shown, 90 to 100% of new rope strength is retained. In used rope, 90 to 100% of the residual strength is also retained. We'll be using a tubular fid for this splice and for measuring the marks. A fid length is equal to the diameter of the rope multiplied by 21. For the 5 8 inch rope used in this example, that works out to 11 inches. To start, lay out the rope and mark it for the splice. From the bitter end, measure one fid length and make mark one. From mark one, measure one fid length and make mark two. Form the desired size of I and make mark three adjacent to mark two. In this example, we will make an eight inch I. Now from mark 1, mark every second left and every second right strand for three strands. Remove the tape at the end of the rope. And pull out the six marked strands from the rope's braid. Cut them off close to the body of the rope, at your marks. From mark 3, measure 2.5 fid lengths and make mark 4. Now, insert the end of the rope into the end of the tubular fid. Tape the end of the rope securely to the fid. Insert the fid into the rope at mark 3.
Be careful not to snag any strands or twist the tail while performing the bury. Work the fid through the rope by holding the end where the rope tail is attached and pulling the rope over the fid. Then grasp the front of the fid and smooth the rope over the fid. Repeat until the front of the fid is past mark 4. Bring the fid out of the rope and pull until marks 2 and 3 come together. Remove the fid and detach it from the rope. Mark three consecutive strands from the end of the rope. Pull out the marked strands and cut them off close to the body of the rope. Pull the eye until marks 2 and 3 meet. Now, smooth the rope from mark 3 towards mark 4 until the tail disappears into the body of the rope. To make completion of the berry easier, it can help to attach the eye to a fixed point. This splice must be lock stitched before being put into service. Instructions on lock stitching and eye splice are available at samsonrope.com.